Hey homies, welcome back to Toy Art. I'm Zach, I'm the host, and it's been a while since I've been around, honestly. I'm in a much better state than I was. We'll make a separate video about that. 2023, not the kindest year to me, but 2023 was a year that was very kind to action figures and how awesome they are. So we're going to talk about my top 15 figures with two honorable mentions and some stuff that I might talk about later is, you know, what lines I got out of, what lines I'm staying in for the new year, and what goals I have for collecting this next year. So let's talk okay, about Let's it. get started. And these are in no particular order. I'm just going by size so I can fit the biggest ones from the back to the smallest ones in the front. So in no particular order, and I'm going to do a full video of this one soon, is from Mighty Jax. This is my Sofubi entry of the year. Uh, this is the Bird King from, made uh, from the artist Krom of his amazingly awesome comic book of the same name, Bird King. So if you haven't checked that out, I believe it's out from Dark Horse. Uh, go get it. This was just one of my favorite things I would ordered in the last year, and it came in... Um, Kind of towards the end of the year and it's really just a quality piece really love the artistry and how they captured crom's art style in plastic form it is just super amazing so next another big boy whoops and part of him just fell off that's cool um, is the four horsemen headless horsemen oh, let's put them all the way back there uh this is the um, of course, the I didn't get the original one. Uh, that's the, this is the mod, the variant edition. But I kind of like this one more because I love the glowing greens and all the um, all the green and purple accents. And of course, the cloth cape. Everything about this figure just freaking rules. It was my first uh, uh, four horsemen figure in quite a long time out of the Mythic series, and I'm so glad to have him. Um, he ranks up there. Definitely in this awesome top 15. Coming up next um, is this awesome, awesome Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus. He's a big boy, as you can see. He really completed the Studio Series 86 line for me this year. I hadn't bought a whole lot from Transformers, and if you must know, like, my Transformers niche is the 1986 movie. I love it to death. Saw it in the theater with my dad as a kid. And this Ultra Magnus is huge. He's the exact scale I would want an Ultra Magnus. And he puts that Earthrise uh, kind of to shame. I might do a longer video on him because I just I want to gush about him a lot more. He's one of the favorite things. He makes that display on my Deltoth look so great. So Transformers awesome. Next, another big boy, the biggest of them, all, of them all, is the Marvel Legends Blob. He is awesome. I just need Destiny to complete my Brotherhood of Evil Mutants line now. And rumor and scuttlebutt is that we're going to get her this year, uh, but we're focusing on Blob. And I love this sculpt is such a great update. He's not as, I don't know gross as the other blob but he's much more comic accurate not all like i don't know a little, the other one looked like it was just like melting fat and it wasn't really like nobody really looks like that nobody like melts fat um you know so this just seems like a much more hmm what's a good word for it this one seems just like a much more honest interpretation of someone who's overweight there you go i think it's a great version of the blob Super happy to have him. He looks so good with that pyro and avalanche and mystique. Um, I, what else can I say? He's one of my favorite figures of this year, of course. On to the next. Uh, this should be no surprise at all. Uh, but NECA coming in hard with War Duke here. Um, I love fantasy. One of my comics... Um, is absolutely a fantasy comic is called burn and it has a flaming sword trope in it as well uh it's sentient however so a little bit different um but this war duke man um i don't i never i grew up with dungeons and dragons uh, i never played it that much 
but it was one of those things that was like lumped in with a satanic panic as i was a kid so um of course i totally gravitated to it like just like with it, it goes it's like this and heavy metal go along as the two most wonderful tastes of my life is that some gut-wrenching metal and this guy representing it is absolutely everything i could have wanted in an action figure he stands on my i have a special um here come the bad guys shelf it's a villain shelf only so he's right up at the front you know hanging out with dr doom and um thanos i he just couldn't have a better addition to the villain shelf than old war duke here just a wonderful sculpt um speaking of total badass villains this is the only black series figure i purchased this last year is old darth malgus here if i can get him to stand that darth malgus figure um i'll bring him a little closer here real quick is just pure he likes to fall over we'll just be honest about that um just everything I've wanted from the Black Series. I have not played the game that he's part of. But when I look at him, I was like, man, that is what I call a Sith Lord. Right there. Just a total epic, awesome figure. Um, great job from Hasbro. Like, can we get consistently awesome Black Series figures like this one? A wonderful cloth goods. Amazing hilt on that lightsaber. Um just a fantastic addition to the black series uh that's nowhere near um anything that i know from the black series i haven't played that game so um knights of the old republic maybe um someone in the comments will tell me please do coming up after that um my first female entry into the list and i wish there were more uh female figures but i've got a i've got a couple on this list is like dot evil lynn um good grief that soft goods cape is a masterpiece those the the dress that goes along with it everything i put the i had an extra power sword so i put that with her uh the sculpt everything about this is what masterverse has really come to like rock and roll for me i think this like god emperor uh Evil Lynn from Revelation, uh, total badass. What a great way to end that end that show as well. So, she's definitely my first female, but not my last female entrant into this list. Um, the next one shouldn't, as far as female goes, shouldn't be any surprise. Um, but I love soft goods, and whenever they do it right, I'm bringing it into the list. Speaking of soft goods. Super 7, Cobra Commander. Now, I also got the his tank, Cobra Commander, as well. Um, this one just edged that one out because it has all these awesome cartoon-accurate accessories and that, like, G.I. Joe the movie soft cape um, Cobra Commander style. It's an epic figure. So good. No paint problems with them at all. Um, see my other review of this for a little bit more in-depth of that, but he's definitely one of my out of my top 15 that I have going on here is like, he's up there. I love seeing him on my shelf. So cool. Speaking of Cobra, I can't like, this was really difficult. I have so many G I have almost every GI Joe classified release. However, I will say the range Viper. Whoops. All right. So range Viper is my favorite GI Joe classified of the year. Uh, he was one of my favorite figures growing up as a kid. I was just like, this guy's awesome. The cool skull mask, the brains of that mask showing off. I, yes, he was a Walmart exclusive. I'm so happy I got one. Um, it's a slight miracle, but his sculpt is amazing. He lives up to that classic G.I. Joe figure that I used to have as a kid. I still have him. What am I, who am I talking about here? Um, but I have him. He is awesome. And one of my favorite things that has come out my top classified figure of the year even though stuff like snow job scrap i almost put scrap iron on here with this cool drone um i almost put the hiss on here um but i was just like you know what you did like the hiss is on so many has gotten so much press i was like let's give one of those smaller guys some press in the top 
15 here. And I think that Range Viper totally nails it. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to one that's a bit more stylized. That I know some people got some got their uh, got their pants in a in a wad over. Uh, Marvel Legends: The Spot from Across the Spider Verse. Just a sweet figure. Um, I love the proportions. I love the cartoonism. Um, that's not a real word. <laughs> the exaggeration of that of those proportions. I think he looks phenomenal. They translate it from screen perfectly. It's a great sculpt. I love how smooth it is. And I just really love the spot. Like, who, why, how would I have ever said that I love the spot? And that's what that movie did. And that's what Marvel Legends did with that figure. A-plus spot figure. So, let's get down to some smaller ones. We're in, we're in the end of it here. We're in the end game. Uh, my next female figure... Chun-Li from Jada Toys. Like, just perfect. Look at that. Awesome figure. S great posability. Awesome effects. She just looks super badass. I love that figure so much. And I love the Jada Street Fighter line as a whole right now. Um, I got my Ken pre-ordered, so I'm just waiting for that. Um, and one thing that I just love is that, like, I'm not, like having to go out and, and like stress over multiple figures coming out all the time. It's once every couple of months. I can really afford this line. They're 25 bucks and they just look phenomenal right up to that game. I have all the soda figures as well and they look great with the soda figures. Um, I really would like to do some comparisons, so I probably will in the new year over some of the Jada toys and the soda figures. But I think this really takes the cake for the first three that were put out there this Chun-Li. Oh boy, we're getting down to it. So next up, uh, one I was over the moon for, honestly, um, is Alf. And I can hear uh, Bob Seger in the background playing right now as I lay that figure down. I actually got two of these. One I gave as a gift for a home housewarming gift for my brother and his wife. And they both loved it. Like, it's such a great sculpt soft good shirt on it looks so good a little hawaiian shirt um so awesome and NECA really knocked it out of the park for something that i don't know if anyone was asking for it's like that chris star figure like did and was anyone wanting this like i know there's a lot of 80s nostalgia going around so maybe there are a lot of people asking for it i hope it did well um i'm just happy to have it it looks so good on myself and um <laughs> I know they're not going to make the rest of the line. I'm not going to get a Willie Tanner or anything like that. I know that, but it's going to look great. It, I should say it looks great next to my Earl and baby from dinosaurs right next to him. I like, I was edging on, I was like, should I do Alf? Should I do the dinosaurs? I was like, dude, Alf, like he's back and it's not in pog form. Thank you. All right. Jada toys, rip roaring again with Booberry. That little Boo Berry is so cute, and I love the cereal, and I love the figure. Like, it's something I look forward to every Halloween is getting Boo Berry um, cereal, and to get this little glowing Boo Berry along with Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Now I just need Fruit Boot, Brute, Fruit Boot, Fruit Brute, and the Mummy. Um, so good. So, so good. Glad to have this figure. The box art is amazing, too. We'll talk about him in the future. Final two. Final two coming down to it. Uh, NECA, again. Usagi Yojimbo. Come on. They could have easily have made this figure a solid scope, kind of like um, old Spot over here, but they put, like, every piece of him has detail and sculpting of that fur so good one of the best figures from this last year so happy to grab him um and just over the moon to have a really sweet saga yojimbo in fact i have two of them i have the black and white version which i've kept in the box and this one here finally my smallest but my favorite smallest figure out of the year superpowers deathstroke he looks rad. Such a good figure. The sword was great. It's a little bendy. It's a little flappy. My cat chewed on it too, so that's great. 
Um, but I think out of the, all the superpowers line that it came out this year, that Deathstroke is definitely the badass out of them all. Um, just such a cool figure. So, yeah, right on. Top 15, 2023. Here they are. Love them all. They are amazing. I love them, each and every one of them. And that's my list for uh, 2015 of awesome, awesome figures. So there's two more that I wanted to give some love to that I forgot to put in this top 15, but a top 17 would be weird. So I'm going to give them as honorable mentions. I don't think a action figure list of mine would be complete without a wrestling figure. And that would be this year's ultimate Eddie Guerrero, who I wish would stand, but my stand will just have Booberry be the unfortunate <laughs> uh, receiver of the Eddie Guerrero pose there. So I thought that Eddie Guerrero figure is great. Um, Eddie Guerrero is my favorite wrestler of all time. So having like a worthy like ultimate figure come out for him this year was awesome. So he's my first honorable mention. Okay. So the next one up is actually a four pack, but I only brought one out to represent him, and that would be this awesome Mirage style, comic book accurate Leonardo. And I have, a, like I said, it came in a four pack of all the turtles, um, but this just what a great figure set to have over this last year and truly worth an honorable mention but i didn't want to pull out the old like i wanted my list to be a solid each figure kind of thing and so to have a four pack on there i felt was like you know what um a little cheating and i know plenty of other people do like multiple figures in one thing lump them in that's one but we're staying clear so my two honorable mentions eddie guerrero leonardo so there you go my top 15 my two honorable mentions. It was tough. Of course, any top 10 list, 15 list, 20 list, a billion list is going to be difficult. Uh, I left out Master of the Universe Origins because I'm on like the end. I'm, I think I'm on the end game of that line at this point. My attorney is coming in later this year. And there's a few figures I want to get to complete my line. And I'm kind of curious to see like where else they'll be going with it. But I think for the most part, I'm at a pretty good stopping point for Master of the Universe Origins, unless something really crazy pops up. I want them to do, like, more, you know, some new characters for that line. I would love to see that. If that happens, I'll definitely be jumping back in. So, it just depends on what they put out for Mattel Creations at this point, I think. Other things I'm going to be starting up in the new year, I want to start that Mega Man line that Jada Toys has coming out. I'm really excited for that. Love Mega Man. One of the hardest games I've ever played of, are those damn Mega Man games. Um, not They're right up there with Castlevania, right? Just like difficult side scrollers, but super, super fun. And those new figures look really exciting. So I'll be talking about that. I'm going to talk about more in depth about some of the figures that you saw in this like top 15 list because I want to catch up. My last video was my Super 7 video all about G.I. Joe Ultimates. I have not gotten Wave 2 yet, so that's maybe an indication of where we're going with that. Um, haven't been impressed by those yet, but there is a G.I. Joe uh, Super 7 figure that I got that I will be doing a review of that is pretty cool. So... With that all said, look forward to more toy art within the new year. I also have an art and design channel um, under my name, Zach Kinsella. So that's my second channel. Every Tuesday night at 6, I'm live drawing. Every Friday evening, I'm doing live drawing of fan art. So we'll be doing some wrestling, Ninja Turtles, all sorts of cool stuff that I'm drawing. And then on Tuesday nights, I'll be showing you like my comic book process. So lots of cool new content for me in the new year. Keep going. If you love this video, awesome. Like comment subscribe all those good things more importantly share it with a friend that loves action figures because you know we all have that one friend i'm the guy of my friends group so thank you again so much for watching and peace